They bless us with their nurturing and fill us with their love. They pick us up when we are down and when we're sad they know. They're always there to lend a hand and guide us as we go. Mothers are like special jewels that can't be bought or sold. A mother's love's more precious than the rarest gem or gold. <coughs> yes, mothers are a special gift sent from God above and will be blessed forever with their never-ending love. My mother's heart, my mother's heart is so tender. Her face has a gentle glow. She's my friend and my inspiration. She's the sweetest mom I know. <laughs> <laughs> she gives herself so freely to those who share her life. She, she clearly loves her children with the love that comes from Christ. Um, her eyes are full of compassion. Her voice is soft and mild. She's my... Uh, she lives for helping others, leaving heart prints all the while. My mother's... My mother's love is so special <laughs> and grows sweeter with every year. God blessed me with an angel. She's a sweet, she's, she's my precious mother dear. Mother's love. Her love is like an island in life's ocean, vast and wide. A peaceful, quiet shelter from the wind, the rain, the tide. Tis bound on the north by hope, by patience on the west, by tender counsel on the south, and on the east by rest. Above it, like a beacon light, shine faith and truth and prayer. And in the changing scenes of life, I find a haven there. In the woods, the forest is so silent, not a sound can be heard. All the creatures are sleeping as the wind starts to stir. The morning's first light is just but a glow. The meadow is quiet as the brook starts to flow. The moon slips way down behind the far hills. The sun's peeking over and chasing the chills. The creatures are waking, the fish start to jump. A, coral is now, a squirrel is now chattering upon an old stump. The foxes are emerging from their winter dens. The pups start to play soon with their coats that blend. Birds start to sing now with their joyful notes. A buck, a doe, a fawn come out eating all the oats. Possums with their families wander in the woods. Rotting old stumps are where great pine trees once stood. The sun way up above in the sky so the sun is way up above in the sky so white. Now it's getting really hot. Animals must hide. Robins look for hair to build their lovely nests. Mosquitoes dance round and round and come a vital pest. The fish swim nearby in a shallow pool. Raccoons run in and out, keeping themselves cool. Eagles soar above, looking for their prey. Mice and moles run along, watched by a jay. Turkeys walk in groups, seeking for some seeds. A lumbering bear walks along, and every creature heats. Among the great pine trees, squirrels jump and leap. A weasel chases after, his pace he will keep. Rabbits hop for grain in the meadow vast. Chipmunks play on the ground, darting round so fast. The sun is setting now, and it is getting dark. The fox calls back its pups with a little bark. Animals must go back to their snug homes. In the dark they migrate, through the woods they come. The moon rises high and the sun sinks down. An owl starts its call with its eerie sound. Thank you for your works, Lord, for you are very good. Your kindness and your love are shown through days in the wood. The great wilderness. Of all God's worlds, so big and wide, there's a place where life is drawn, where his handiwork so clearly shows where man has never gone. The untamed wild is beauty great, where rivers flow uncharted, and mountains stand so great and lofty, its forests they have guarded. The massive oaks, birch, fir, and pines tower menacingly overhead, as the warblers sing their melodies until they go to bed. The fleeting feet of doe and fawn pass swiftly through the grass. While in the lakes and ponds and brooks swim trout and perch and bass. Then coming from a distant clearing, the roar of a grizzly bear. And then an elk upon a ridge, its bugle you may hear. As dusk approaches with the setting sun, an owl begins its calls. Then the fox and raccoon leave their dens to hunt whatever crawls. The moon shines bright and casts long shadows while a wolf mourns a howl. 
and the mink and weasels who seek their prey are constantly on the prowl. And now the moon begins to sink with the dawn upon its way, so now the ones that were up all night begin to sneak away. The sun comes up on a bright new day, the earth is lightened again, and all the ones who slept that night emerge from their small dens. The, the wilderness and all its creatures is a symbol of God's care, for all the creatures depend on him, a gift we all should share. So with, so with every moment of every day, we should try our best to shine, as our Father who created all, like the fish and birds and pines. And so our lives depend on him, the one we sh all should bless, for all the things that he has made, like the great vast wilderness. Whoa, Johnny and Sam. Here it is, three o'clock, and you have to stay after school. I'm only punishing you because I like you. Well, all I can say is I'd like to return your affection. <laughs> <laughs> this makes fun. This is the fifth time I've had to punish you. What have you to say for yourself? I'm glad it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> now, Johnny, why don't you work hard to get ahead? I've already thought ahead. <laughs> Surely you must. 
must know some arithmetic. What's three times three? Uh, nine. <laughs> that's pretty good. Pretty good nothing, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what is a synonym? Oh, I, I don't know exactly, but I think it's the word you spell when don't, you don't know the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to geography. Can you tell me what shape the world is? Uh, in pretty bad shape right now. <laughs> Stop your monkey shines. What shape is the earth? Wow. Don't know? I'm going to ask Johnny. Johnny? What earrings does your mother wear? What kind of earrings does your mother wear? Square ones. I mean on Sundays, round ones. So what shape is the earth? Square on weekdays and round on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> I get fucked! Get me, Charlie! Get up! <laughs> we uh, did geography since um, the beginning of this year, and so every day we did like a country or part of a country, and then at the end of the year, we drew the whole world. So, yeah. So this to see this. Wow. How many hours did you spend on it? Probably like 25, I think, around. But right here are, we did use different colors for elevation. Here's the depths of the earth. No, the water, and then this is how high the mountains are in different parts of the elevation. The elevation. Farewell, friends and neighbors here. Hope to see you around next year. School is over and the hearts set free. And I'm as happy as happy can be. I went to school when the snow was deep. I went when I didn't have quite enough sleep. It's a sincerely beautiful day, day here in Eagle Valley. And today is our, what we call school picnic. It's our end of school program and where we have all the community come together, all the parents and the whole community, church family. And we're having uh, lunch together right now. We had the, this morning, we had the uh, school program where the kids all memorized and they, they did use copies because they didn't, have a lot of time to practice because of the COVID-19 thing so they only had a few days of practice so they use mostly copies but we're having lunch here this afternoon we'll be playing some games but that's our schoolhouse over in the background so we can get a better look at it that's our little country schoolhouse over there one room schoolhouse with a little entryway a tiny little bathroom actually and then this is our pavilion where we just have um, events like this eat out in the grass and all that and then over here is our community center. This is where we have our services and, and that. And then we'll play softball out here in the field a little bit later, past the swings out there. So definitely a beautiful day, a good day to be alive and enjoy each other in the community. Lots of good food here today. All right, we got a runaway here. I think he got loose. Yeah. Got to realize that he can't buck his saddle off there. He was trying a minute ago. Okay, here we're playing a relay race. All these people here are in line. They're going down, touching that person there. Coming back and touching the next person in line here.
we're getting ready to play a game of softball here with everyone. Trying to get things organized here. Let's go, Robert. Bring him home. Ball ball. That was a ticker. All right. Oh yeah. Go home. Go, 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 go. It's a home run. Keep going. That's a home run. Nice. Oh, home run. Good job, Robert. I didn't get that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Hey, that's it. Oh,